Hi everyone and welcome back to my little mini series. So if you're new here, I'm Lily and I run my own micro bakery from my home called Lily's Loaf in South London. Today's video is gonna be all about how I do the bulk fermentation in my sourdough loaves. This was a request from someone so I hope it's helpful for you guys. Kind of playing around, I'm learning new things every day. I think it's a little bit different from other recipes that I've seen just because I tend to mix the starter with the water first for, as the first step and then I mix in the flour, give that a good knead and then leave it in an hour, leave it in an hour, leave it an hour and then add the salt and that's when the bulk starts for me. So you know there's different ways of doing it and I don't think any one way is better than the other, it's just working out what works for you and what works out for your starter and that's another thing that I'm doing at the moment, I'm playing around with a new starter. Um, let me show you. So for all of my breads so far that I've been selling, I've been using my 100% whole grain rye starter. Um, and I still need to think of a name for it. I'm thinking maybe calling it Rory. <laughs> um, Rory the rye starter. Um, but yeah, let me just show you here. My rye starter. And then this is my new one, which is all white um, strong bread flour starter. Like that. The thing is, I started off with rye because apparently it's very robust and you're more likely to get much more microbial activity in there than you are with the white sourdough starter. So for me, it just felt a bit more reliable to go with the rye starter to begin with. And what I do is I feed that in the evenings at about eight o'clock and then it should be ready in the mornings for when I want to bake. Actually, I'm running a bit behind schedule. So yeah, I'm gonna add the salt in and yeah, I'll just pop you up here so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, that's quite good there actually. I love these boxes, these are amazing, they changed my life. <laughs> um, I literally, I got them from Tesco's, big Tesco Metro. Tesco Metro? The, the, the massive one. They're perfect because you can stack them up. I can also use them for my deliveries. Measure out this salt and concentrate. And this just helps it dissolve into the mixture a bit more. And then I'm actually going to pour it in fairly evenly all over. Make sure you get every last bit of it. This is all hand mixed by the way, I don't have a mixer or anything. It's fantastic stress reliever. I can't tell you. It's just, it's so physical and it really, it gets everything going and I have to concentrate and just be in the moment so much. Um, so yeah, what I do is I literally dimple this in like this. I'm just going to check the temperature now with my new thermometer that you might have seen in my last video. <laughs> the ideal dough temperature that you want is 26 degrees. And I think it's going to be a bit colder because it's quite cold today. Yeah, so it's like... 21.7 so it's just something to be aware of it just means that this dough will probably take a little bit longer than it would if it was warmer to ferment and what I'm going to do now is just do a simple stretch just to make sure that it's all incorporated nicely in here I'm just filming So that's it fully mixed now and in about half an hour I'll do the first proper turn and then um, I will check in when it's time to shape. Thank you. 
I just wanted to show this little whiteboard that I use um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So I scale up how many loaves I'm doing in the day. So that's my sourdough loaves that I did this morning. And then here I write down um, my timing so I have an idea of like when I need to be back from whatever I'm doing, like deliveries or whatever. Um, so I know that I've mixed it at half eight and then the bulk was a little bit later so it should have been half nine but it was ten and then three hours and then the bulk was done and then it was time to shape so yeah I do that every day and it's just really easy to see up here on top of my cooling rack so yeah hey guys so it's a bit later on now in the afternoon and um, my bulk fermentation is done and all of the dough is resting overnight in the fridge so yeah it was it was a bit hectic in here because it was lunchtime when i was shaping the dough and when the bulk was finished so the dough was fermenting from about 10 a.m until 1 p.m and at 1 p.m i stopped it and all i do is literally pour it out of the massive container then divide it into however many loaves i'm doing for the day um and then i shape it once let it rest for like maybe five minutes and then properly shape it again um, and then pop them into their baskets and do like a little, a little stitch right at the end um, just to make sure that that seam is really nice and like tight um, and then I pop them in the fridge overnight and that's it that's them done for the day um, so yeah so I'm still learning every day, um, like the best workflow to do. Let me know what you want to see next week. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to order from me and you live in Southwest London, then you just click the link below. But if not, you can just follow me on Instagram at lilies underscore loaf. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye.